What's good, YouTube? Now we're to here back again once again. And today, people, today we are back. It's Sunday, and we're back. I should have said that the opposite order, but it's Sunday, and we're back for our Pokemon TCG opening. Now, I know we're kind of sort of caught up with all the TCG openings so far. Um, the only thing that we could really open that's quote unquote new right now is Primal Forces, Gaia Storm, and Title Tidal Storm and Gaia Volcano are out in Japan. And I didn't bother getting any Japanese boxes for that because. Uh, I, I, the really only reason I went and got the Japanese ones before was because it was Gengar. Like, it was, it was the Gengar set, and I wanted to get Gengar, and I had a ton of fun doing that, but I'm looking at a couple of these other TCG channels, and I guess if I want to be a serious TCG YouTuber, I need to get the Japanese sets. So, probably for Primal Clash, we're not going to worry about getting the Japanese ones since in a month they're going to be here on the channel in English as it is, and I don't want to spend the next two, three weeks uploading Japanese ones just to turn around and upload them all over again in English. So, after Primal Clash, we'll, when, whenever the next set comes, we'll get some Japanese cards for those and open them early and whatnot. So it would be those, and I guess there's a new Gallate EX box out or something like that. I've been seeing on Twitter left and right. Uh, I'll get my hands on that over the next couple weeks. And if anything, I might just save that one for a little bit later because, as you guys see, we have a ton of collection boxes still to open because I want to get all of 6th Gen opened here on the channel, more importantly. So maybe over the next couple weeks, until Primal Clash or Primal Forces, whatever the hell it is, I get them mixed up all the time, <laughs> until it actually comes out in the U.S., maybe we'll just spend the next couple weeks opening a few older sets. It might be nice to have a little bit of throwback to about a year ago or some something and see if we can't get some nice other boxes then. So either way, I think for this week, not only are we going to announce the winner, of last week's Mega Metagross Special Premium Collection Box winner. Uh, but I think this week we're just going to go, let's just go way back. Let's just go way back. And I think that we should, uh, we should, can I get it out of the closet? Open up our Xerneas tins. <laughs> we're going to open up our Xerneas tins. Next week we can do Eveltal. We can knock out the collection boxes after that and focus on some other silly shit and whatnot. So like I said, I just want to spend the next couple weeks knocking out some of the older sets. Uh, older sets in the sense of 6th gen. And then once Primal Forces come out in the US, we'll just powerhouse all over that. We'll hit the Galley EX box and all that good lovey dovey bullshit. But either way, like I said, we need to announce the winner of our Mega Metagos Premium Collection Box. That's, that's the correct name for all my politically correct motherfuckers out there. Premium Collection Box. And of course, we're going to open up the Xerneas EX tins too. So either way, enough with the super duper long ass intro. If you guys are hyped for this week's TCG opening, and of course, you're proud members of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated now when it comes to this here collection box i think without any further ado let's just go ahead and announce the winner it's, it's, it's not I, I should you know what i should do i should pre-record the winner of this and just drop it randomly in the middle of the video like i could be in the middle of pulling cards out of a pack and just boom the winner is and then just keep going i think i might do that next week anyways the winner of the mega metagross ex shiny mega metagross ex premium collection box is Jennifer Wrigley. Hey! Uh, the question last week was, who is your favorite third gen Pokemon since Mega Metagross is nice in third gen, or Metagross is nice in third gen. Uh, but she says, although I do love almost all of my generation 3 Pokemon, my favorite one is Manectric, or Manectric for those of the politically correct ones. This is because of the fact that Manectric stays true to my strategy of having all super fast Pokemon on my team. Electric types are fast as hell. Or most of them at least. For anyway, Manectric comes in good handy for any one of the gym leaders and the Elite Four, except for Steven. In my first full run through of Oris, I used a Manectric, and it did a hell of a lot of damage to any Pokemon it battles, and is my favorite type, Electric. The first time I played through the original version of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I had an Electric, and it was so freaking beast. Well, Jennifer, uh, check your inbox on YouTube. You should have a message uh, there inquiring where to send your Mega Metagross EX Premium Collection box to. I hope that you do enjoy. And uh, unfortunately, none of the Phantom Gate Packs have Manectric on them. But hopefully you get a Mega Manectric EX or something else like that from the Phantom Forces Packs inside. This box is so damn big, it's hit my mic and whatnot. But either way... Uh, just like Jennifer just won the Mega Metagross EX Premium Collection Box, one of you guys watching can win one of these tins that we're opening this week. Uh, all you have to do is, uh, number one, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, and number two, let us know what your favorite card is from the X and Y base set. 
Uh, base set is the original set that came out with X and Y, and that's what's inside of this tin here. Just the X and Y base set. Oh, there might be some 5th gen packs in here too, but either way, it's, it's, uh, Xerneas is from the X and Y base set. So let us know in the comment section below what your favorite X and Y base set card is, whether it's just a card art or the viability in-game and whatnot. Um, a lot of you guys should have probably seen the X and Y base sets by now since they've been out since... Uh, six gen TCG started. So let us know what your favorite one is, and of course, make sure you smash that like button down below for us. Without any further ado, I don't know which one I want to open. I don't know which one I want to open. I think I'll open this one, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and see what's inside. Okay, so the sun is starting to go to the other side of the house outside. Uh, I, I just woke up from the finest of power naps. If you guys didn't know, you guys ever had those power naps? that hits you at like noon, one o'clock-ish, and you just, you're dead to the world for like two hours, you be slobbering all over yourself and shit. I had one of those. I wasn't slobbering on myself, but I had one of those, and I woke up and I was like, oh, I better record some TCG for today too. Um, <laughs> and uh, because of that, it's a little bit, it's, I, I, I'd like to use natural light, and I think we still have some decent lighting right now. Um, if I recorded a little bit earlier in the day, that would have been a lot better. But either way, we have the plastic off of our tin, so let's go ahead and see what we've got inside here mate as you can see we have the powerful powerful Xerneas promo card with breakthrough and X blast on it can we actually get it out of the pack there we go the powerful Xerneas EX uh, promo card from the front I'm gonna go ahead and let Xerneas chill back here and hopefully Xerneas the the giver of life well, bless us. Bless us, Xerneas. Up. Oh. Jesus Christ, that card just... I just dropped the fuck out of there. There was a TCG card that came for the Xerneas 10. I wasn't going to share it as it is because I'm pretty sure it's for Xerneas EX card and I wanted to get that on TCGO. I know, I'm a bad guy. I was going to share with you guys the codes from these packs instead. Um, but I just dropped it and it just fell behind my computer stand there, so uh, we're not getting it right now. <laughs> we're not gonna get it right now. Either way, we have not one, not two, not three, but four packs, two X and Y base sets, a black and white legendary treasure, which means we're gonna get a radiant collection card and a black and white plasma blast pack inside too. And that's all. That's all that's in there. There's just the plastic shit left, so we can take that out of the and let's see what we're gonna do with it next. So either way, we're gonna go ahead and open up the first. Damn, there's parts of this tin all over the place. We're gonna go ahead and open up the first X and Y base set pack that we have here, and hopefully we can get some EX hype or some full art glory. Of course, you guys already know how this works. If you show up early enough to the TCG openings on Sunday. Keep your eyes on the feed and on Twitter for whenever it comes out. You can get your own TCGO booster packs as well. Um, it's, it's literally first come, first serve. It's the only way I can do it. It's the only way I can really do it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold this with the correct hand so there's no shadow each time. But either way, we are going to start off with a Dodrio, then a Muscle Band, a Red Car. You're out! <laughs> we have a Venipede, we have a Jigglypuff, a Ladyba, a Sandile. A Diglett Dig. The reverse hollow in the pack is a Quilladin, and the rare is... Ooh, a Holographic Vivalon. Ooh, a Holographic Vivalon. Surprisingly, I'm not disappointed by this too much. Normally, I would be disappointed by it not getting, like, an EX or a Full Art or some shit, but for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the card art. Maybe because it's Vivalon. I like Vivalon. I don't know why. I, I really, really like that. I really, I really, really like that Vivalon. Vivalon's gonna chill right there. I don't know why. I'm actually not disappointed in that. I guess it's a good thing not being disappointed in the pulls you get. Um, either way, our second X and Y base, our booster, booster pack, base set pack here. It's got Evelta on the cover. We had Mega Venus on the last one. But the TCGO code for you guys. First come, first serve. Let me know if you guys get anything decent from the pack as well. Let me know, let me know, let me know. We're going to take our back three and move them to the front. Move them to the front here. Either way, we're going to start off with a Soul Rock. Then a Volbeat. Del Caddy, a Skiddo. This Del Caddy is actually kind of sort of nice. Energy Salon, search your deck for up to three different types of basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. It's actually not too terribly bad. Uh, it doesn't dish out too much damage. You just fake out. It paralyzes your opponent and does 30 damage. So, I mean, I guess you could fake them out, paralyze them, and if they end up being paralyzed next turn, use Energy Salon, just wrap up some energies like that. It's it's a good supporter card for other decks, uh, for other EXs that require energies, like like that Conk Elder orange deck that requires all them fighting energies. Anyways, let me stop talking. <laughs> I'm just rambling on and on and on and on. Anyway, we have a Skiddo, 
We have a Scatterbug, a Weedle, a Rhyhorn. We can ready to knock the fuck out of you, my lord. We have Paul the Bidoof. Oh my goodness, that caught me so off guard. We have a Reverse Hollow Greninja for the for the uh, Hollow in the pack for the for the Reverse Hollow, and the rare is. <gasps> We have a full art Xerneas EX. Oh my goodness! Is it how is how fitting is that? Where when it was Xerneas ten, we get a full art Xerneas EX pull. Oh my goodness! Wow, wow! I just got like a burst of adrenaline in my chest because like I opened the pack and everything, and I, I felt like when I turned it just now, I kind of sort of showed off what was on the side, but I didn't see anything, so I was like, oh, we're not gonna get anything special. But I would say a full art Xerneas EX is pretty goddamn special. Oh my lord. That's so perfect. We're opening up a Xerneas 10 we get a Xerneas EX. Oh my lord. Where the sleeves at? Where the sleeves at? Where the sleeves at? Where the sleeve, 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 sleeves at? For real, where the hell are my sleeves at, son? Oh, here we go. I got him. 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 It doesn't matter if I'm doing P.O. Box pulls or TCG opening. I never got sleeves on deck ready to go. We're going to go ahead and get Xerneas here nice and sleeved up. Nice and sleeved up so it can be protected. Look at that. Xerneas EX full art. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to leave these sleeves right on top right there so I don't lose them. Oh my goodness. Whew. Whew. The energy, the excitement just now. We got some full art hype going on. Oh no, that's full art glory. I got it mixed up. We had EX hype with the promo card. Then we got full art glory with the uh, promo. With the, with the pro. <sighs> The EX hype is the promo, but for our glory, it's sitting in the sleeve right there. Either way, our next pack that we're going to go ahead and open up is the Black and White Legendary Treasures pack. Now, like I said, this does, in fact, have the little subset, the Radiant Collection, in it. Uh, Radiant Collection uh, has a few? Does it have a few? Or does it have just one? No, I think it has I think it has Mew and Emolga. I think those are the only full arts in the Radiant Collection. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But I know it's got a few full arts in it, so we have a chance of getting a Radiant Collection full art out of this, too. There is the card for you guys. The uh, TCG online packs as well have reading collections in the two. So let me know if you guys get anything decent from that. But we're going to take the uh, back three and switch them on over here. And our first one that we have is the Radiant Collection one. Wow. <laughs> I guess. I uh, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So it still works. It's still, it's still, it's, we're still good. I thought I moved it out of order for a second. But the Radiant Collection in the pack is of course the Ralts here. You guys, I don't know if you can really sort of kind of sort of see it. The stars are kind of really, really low key across the card. But if you look in the corner there, if it'll focus, it does say RC Radiant Collection. So that's the Radiant Collection card that we got for that. Next up, we have a Duat. Look at Grimer in the background. <laughs> Why does Grimer look so stupid all the time? There's no way Grimer never looks stupid. Look at Grimer there. We have Duat with Grimer. We have Prinplup. Then we have a Snivy. Snivy dude. Then we have a Seawaddle. A Zorua, a Dwebble. Oh my goodness! Wow! <laughs> Was not expecting that. Uh, excuse me. Holographic Rayquaza, just chilling in the pack here. <laughs> just chilling in the pack, like, hey, what's up? How you doing? I was not expecting that. Look, I was calling off Zorua, Dwebble. Rayquaza, <laughs> you know, just out of nowhere. So we have a. Oh my goodness, you guys saw? Did you see that just now? We have a Holographic Rayquaza, then we have a Meloetta, which is pretty damn decent in and of itself. A Meloetta, wait, is this the, no, that's not Radiant Collection. We have a Meloetta, and then the last card is the Full Art Radiant Collection Mew. I don't know how the, I don't know how the Radiant Collection works in, um, in the set, or I mean in the package, because we just got two Radiant Collection cards. Do they always give you two Radiant Collection cards, or is it just one, and then if you get a second one, if it's a Full Art? I don't, I don't know exactly what's happening. I just know Radiant Collection is a subset within Legendary Treasures. So, either way, we got a Full Art Mew EX as well. Two Full Art Glories in one pack, in one opening. I, I am H-Y-P-E. H-Y-E-P-P. -P. I can't even spell, goddammit. So, we got a Full Art Mew as well. Where can the Mew shit? Mew, you can show right there. Mew, Mew, Mew. Uh, it's actually funny that I got that. Uh, a lot of people don't consider the Radiant Collection Full Arts to be all too amazing or all too rare i think they i think full art mew goes for like four dollars online or some shit like that and uh i can i can show you right now why that is because uh this binder that i have here is my like extra ex extra full art binder and i don't know if you guys will be able to see all of this on camera or not but look at all those extra mews that i have 
all those Mew uh, EXs full arts from the Radiant Collection. So, either way, it, it doesn't matter what collectors or what anybody else says about the value of a card. If you guys love a card and, and you enjoy it enough, who gives a damn? That, like, that's your card. That's your motherfucking card. That's your favorite card right there. Personally, even if it isn't worth a whole lot of money, I still really, really love the Mew EX. I would touch it. I'm just afraid that it's just going to fall and fall through the cracks in the table and everything. But personally, like I said, I really, really still love Mew EX. I love the card. I love the colors on it. I love the uh, gloss across and everything. The card itself is not too terrible in TCG. It's not the best either. But still, I love it. So if, if you guys love a card, I don't care if collectors say it's only worth $4. More power to you. More power to you. But either way, we have one pack left to open being our... Pokemon Black and White Plasma Blast Pack. Let's see what we've gotten inside here, mate. We have a code for you guys, of course. A Plasma Black... T P Plasma Black... Plasma Blast! <laughs> TCGO code. Let me know if you guys get anything decent from that. We're going to take the back three and flip them to the front. We're going to start off with an Octillery. A Rare Candy. A Tropius. Wow. <laughs> I haven't seen a Tropius card in forever. A Tropius. A Mana. Nice and first gen fable. Then we have a Larvesta, a Surskit, a Ducklet, a Remoraid, the Reverse Hollow in the pack is a Squirtle, and the rare is an Aggron with Aura of the Land on it to deal 20 damage to all of your bench Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I never have any luck when it comes to final packs. Like, if I open up a booster box or something like that, I never get any luck in the last pack. If I open up one of these tins, I never get any luck in the last pack, so... Either way, I, I still think we're pretty goddamn lucky with the Hollow Vivalon, the Hollow Rayquaza. Let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and see everything we got. See the Xerneas trying to get away from us right there? Let's just go ahead and see everything that we got out of the pack today. Uh, of course, we got a Holographic Vivalon. Vivion. The Holographic Rayquaza. The Promo Xerneas EX. Nice and EX hype. The Full Art Mew EX from the Legendary Treasures Radiant Collection. And, of course, the Full Art Xerneas EX too. Full art glory ex hype out the ass, but either way, I'm I'm very very happy. I'm very very content with our pulls. Uh, whoever ends up getting the uh, other Xerneas tin, I wish you the best of luck, the absolute best of luck with it. Can we can we can we shimmy get this goddamn plastic out the way? Let's shimmy shimmy over here so we can grab this. Whoever ends up winning the other Xerneas ex tin, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you get just as many decent pulls as we did. Of course, if you guys want to enter to win the Xerneas ex tin, all you have to do is let us know in the comment section below what is your favorite card from the X and Y base set. It can be just because of its art, it can be because of its viability in TCG, and of course, make sure you guys smash that like button down below for us. But especially make sure you smash the like button down below if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation or if you just enjoyed the video, period. Uh, showing your support is always appreciated. But with that, I think it's my time to get up out of here. I will see you guys next week for another TCG opening. Um, but with that, I'm about. Thank you all once again for your support and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube, that 192. Uh, I'm out.